Welcome back to Australia's biggest child safety lesson, brought to you by the Daniel Morecambe Foundation. I'm Bruce. And I'm Denise. We're the parents of Daniel Morecambe. He was a school kid just like you, and he felt safe most of the time. But what happens when you suddenly feel unsafe? You might feel sad, worried, confused, and maybe even scared. That's what happened to Daniel. He was tricked into an unsafe situation. We want you to remember Daniel and learn very important skills to help you stay safe. In this big lesson today, we're going to learn about enthusiastic consent. See if you can say it with us, everyone. Enthusiastic consent. You can give or not give consent when it comes to lots of things every day. Like when someone asks you to take your picture or they try to give you a hug. You can even change your mind too, and that's okay. But sometimes, while you're deciding, you might feel confused, pressured, or rushed into saying yes. That's why it's so important to understand what true enthusiastic consent is. To understand how we really feel, to confidently communicate our boundaries, and to respect the boundaries of others. Your body boundary, also referred to as your body bubble, or your personal space, is the invisible line around your body, and your body belongs to you. What does Morky always say? From your toes to your nose, nobody goes. Your body belongs to you. Can you make a silent promise to me? If someone has harmed you in the past, or is harming you now, you can report this to an adult on your safety team. Call Kids Helpline on 1800 55 1800, or the police on 000 when it is safe to do so. Your safety team includes all of your safety helpers. They're the people in your life that you can trust. They'll listen to you with kindness and will support you in getting help and staying safe. If someone harms you, it's never your fault. And it's never too late to share what happened to you. Remember what we say every year. Recognise, react and report. Now, it's time to hear from our junior journo and Miss Chloe. Hi. I'm Marley. So, Miss Chloe, what is enthusiastic consent? Enthusiastic means you feel safe, happy, excited, certain, confident, and 100% okay with it. The way you feel is completely clear to you and to the other person. We need to learn how to understand and communicate our own boundaries and to respect the boundaries of others too. But sometimes it's hard to know what you really feel about something and you need time and space to work it out. That's right. And no one should ever blow your boundaries, pressure you, rush or scare you into doing anything you don't truly want to do. You need to feel enthusiastic about it. Today, we are also going to learn about our body clues, which help us understand how we feel inside, like a funny tummy or racing heart. And we'll learn to look more carefully for the body cues of others like their facial expressions and body language to help us understand how other people feel too. We're heading off around Australia, starting here in Canberra first. The traditional names of this land are Ngunnawal and Ngambri. Oh look, it's Parliament House. Hey, there's Morky. Morky is going to help us look at consent a lot more clearly. In today's lesson, we'll see different things happening between the students and you're all going to help us work out what's going on. If you can see that consent is true, happy and enthusiastic, we're going to shout and do the Auslan sign for... Enthusiastic consent! If you see boundaries being blurred, we'll all shout and sign... Blurred boundaries! And if boundaries are being crossed, we'll all shout and sign... Crossed boundaries! Okay, let's see what's going on with Amelia and Bella. I felt really sad about saying goodbye to my brother this morning. I won't see him for ages. Holding my hand will make me feel better. Hmm, this seems a bit blurry to me. 
Amelia didn't actually ask for consent. She asked Bella to make her feel better by doing something she clearly doesn't want to do. Bella's boundaries are being blurred. What do we say? Blurred, blurred boundaries. Hmm. Amelia just went ahead and crossed Bella's boundaries without asking. Her boundaries have been crossed. So what do we say? Crossed boundaries. Aw, I'm sorry you're sad. Look at Bella's body clues. Funny tummy, sweaty palms. And look at those body cues she is showing. She has hunched shoulders, looks unhappy and uncomfortable. This is not enthusiastic consent and Amelia is not respecting Bella's boundaries. This makes me feel much better. So does this. Corners! Oh, no! What do we think, everyone? Let's say it together. Crossed boundaries. No, stop it. I'm sorry that you're sad, but it doesn't mean you can do stuff to me that I don't like. Bella clearly communicated her boundaries with her words and body cues. Amelia's not been respectful and has crossed Bella's boundaries three times without asking, even when Bella clearly said no. I'm sorry you're feeling sad, but you shouldn't touch me without asking first. But I thought you'd just say nah. I just really like you and want to be friends. We are friends, but you always need to ask for consent before you do stuff with someone else. What can we do together that we both like then? Hmm. Maybe we could play Spotto. That's the best game in the world. Oh, yeah, woohoo! Oh, Spotto! Great work, everyone. While Amelia needed a little extra help learning how to respectfully ask Bella for consent, Bella found her voice, listened to her body clues, and was able to confidently communicate her boundaries. Oh, look! We're nearly in South Australia. OK, everyone, we've arrived in Adelaide, traditionally known as Tundanya in South Australia. We're just about to drive past Adelaide Oval, one of my favourite places. Let's have a look at what is happening with our next few students and where the boundaries of consent are being blurred or crossed. Remember to shout and sign when you see a boundary being blurred or crossed. Ha <laughs> ha Yes, I would! No, mate, that's cringe. I'd never do that. I don't believe you. Too chicken to own up to it. I bet you're too chicken to choose Dan X too. Bah, bah, bah. I am not. Okay, dare then. I dare you to take a picture of Amelia on your iPad. What's happening here, everyone? Cam is teasing and pressuring Leo to do something he doesn't really want to do. The boundaries are being blurred. Let's say it together. Blurred, blurred boundaries. boundaries. No, I dare you to tickle her. <laughs> no, I can't do that. You do it. You're sitting closer. <laughs> hey! This is really not okay. What do we see here? The boundaries are being crossed. Let's say it together, everyone. Crossed boundaries. Not only have Amelia's body boundaries been crossed by Cam tickling her, but she did not and could not consent to her picture being taken either because she was asleep. This is an invasion of her privacy. Ugh, I feel so embarrassed. What if they airdrop the pictures to the whole class or share them online? What if everyone I know sees them and they make fun of me? <laughs> we need to tell one of your safety helpers this happened. Remember what Bruce and Denise always say, recognise, react and report. 
Cam and Leo, you've been extremely disrespectful towards Amelia. Delete the pictures from your iPad immediately and show Amelia you've done this out of respect to her. Miss, I didn't do it. It was Leo. It was all his idea. No. Well, I did take the pictures. Amelia, I'm very sorry, but Cam made me feel like I had to do it. Leo is telling the truth, miss. I saw Cam laughing about it, and he's also the one who tickled Amelia while she was sleeping. Well, she didn't tell me not to. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Cam. Amelia was asleep. Consent must be given clearly and enthusiastically. It cannot be given when someone's unable to respond, and certainly not if they're asleep. You've both hurt Amelia and crossed her boundaries. You should never let anyone pressure you to do something to yourself or to others without enthusiastic consent all around. We've arrived in Hobart, Tasmania, traditionally known as Nibaluna. We're off to visit the famous Salamaker markets. There are sometimes older people who might make you feel very special, give you lots of compliments, make you feel that you can trust them. They might ask you to keep unsafe secrets and do things you're not really comfortable with. They might even try to cross your body boundaries too. This is sus behaviour and it's absolutely not okay. It's also not your fault if this happens to you. You've done nothing wrong. Next up, we're going to try and identify more examples of enthusiastic consent. And then we're going to see if we can identify signs of sus behaviour too. Sus behaviour can mean the boundaries of consent are being very blurred and crossed too. I'm super duper excited about book week, are you? OMG, yes. Want to go as matching characters? Oh, I'd love that. Oh, what about from Alice in Wonderland? Uh-huh, that'd be so much fun. Red Queen and Alice? Yes, yes Queen! Queen. <laughs> Amelia and Bella both look and sound very confident, happy and excited. They're checking in and being respectful of each other too. What is that, everyone? It's... Enthusiastic consent. Ah, oh, I just realised my friend can help with getting amazing costumes. Who's your friend? He lives down the road from me and talks to me sometimes when I'm out the front of our place. Oh, I've seen some of the costumes he's got in his home. Oh, I mean he told me about them. You've been to his house? Please don't tell my parents. He told me to keep it a secret. He tells you to keep secrets? That sounds sus. No, he's my friend. He's really nice and my parents like him. This is all sounding pretty sus. The person is giving compliments, making Bella keep unsafe secrets, and Bella is not feeling safe to talk about what is going on. Do you see what is happening to Bella's boundaries? What do we say? Blurred boundaries. boundaries. Has he ever done anything else sus? Um, well, sometimes he tries to tickle me and plays tricks on me. I try to say I didn't like it, but then he told me not to hurt his feelings. This is not okay. Bella's body boundaries have been blurred and crossed by this person, and this is not at all enthusiastic consent. What do we say, everyone? Crossed boundaries. No one is allowed to look at, touch or photograph you or your private body parts, like your nipples, buttocks, penis, testicles, vulva or vagina. You cannot look at, touch or photograph anyone else's private body parts either. And it's very important that you report this to your safety team. How do you really feel about what he is doing? In your tummy? It makes me feel really sick in my tummy and really yucky, but I get confused because then he's so nice to me. I don't want to make him angry either. He's heaps older than me. I think we should talk with someone on your safety team. What if I get into trouble? Our safety helpers need to listen with kindness, remember? They're here to help us. Do you feel safe to do this now? Mm, yes. Okay, I can go with you. 
if you want me to. Okay. Thank you for trusting me. Always remember, the safety helpers on your safety team are the people in your life you know you can trust who will support you in staying safe or getting help. It might be your parent or guardian, your teacher or guidance officer, your auntie, a counsellor, a police officer or someone else you know and trust. Your safety team should always listen with kindness and care. You can also call Kids Helpline 1800 55 1800 anytime, any day. Goodbye, Tazzy. We're on our way to Western Australia. It's good to be back in Perth, traditionally known as Wooloo. Well, we have certainly all learnt a lot today about enthusiastic consent. It seems to me that when it comes to asking for or giving consent, it isn't true consent unless it's... Enthusiastic consent! Uh-huh. We have also learnt about how important it is to tune into our own body clues, like a funny tummy, racing heart and wobbly knees, and to give ourselves time and space to think about how we truly feel. If we feel safe, happy, excited, certain, confident and 100% okay with it, that looks like enthusiastic consent. Or if we feel unsure, confused, unhappy or unsafe, that looks like blurred boundaries or cross boundaries because it's not true consent. No one should ever try to blur, rush, pressure, confuse, trick, force or frighten you into crossing your body boundaries or doing anything that you don't truly want to do. When you're the one asking for consent from someone else, we learned that it's also very important to listen to and look at the body cues of the other person, to be respectful and give them the time and space they need to work out how they really feel too. What a huge learning journey we've all had today. All about enthusiastic consent and how we can all be respectful of each other and stay safe together. Thank you so much for joining us today for Australia's biggest child safety lesson. Here's a song about consent enthusiastically. We can all say yes, yes or no and even maybe. If I'm sure of how another person truly feels. Time, respect and space is how the truth can be revealed. To my toes, to my nose, nobody goes. My body belongs to me. Even pictures of I'm the keeper of this space, my body boundaries You can never change my mind or trick or push on me Enthusiastic is fantastic, but it's absurd Cross can get lost when consent is the word Boundaries are clear, but they take time to figure out Be respectful, give me space, that's what it's all about That's what consent is Right for 